So we've had a great day out on the water. We have a cooler full of fish. Now I'm gonna show you how to fillet those fish. So to get started filleting fish, we're gonna need some equipment. Today here in front of you, I got a nice cutting board. I have a very sharp fillet knife. I got a bucket full of ice water to help keep our fillets cold. So we're gonna grab one of our fish from our catch here. We got some really nice hybrid bluegills here. When, to begin, you're gonna set it down on your cutting table like so. We're gonna make our first cut right inside this bony structure. There's a bone that runs along here. We're gonna bring the, the flay knife right in behind that bone, angling the tip of the knife towards the head. And we're gonna make our first cut at an angle like so. Once that kind of hits bony material, you've gone all the way through. I'm then gonna turn my blade and come in from the top and I'm going to work the tip just along the spine down till I fill the rib cage. And I'm going to work that all the way down the spine. Just kind of working it in and out. You should fill the rib cage with the tip and the back of the blade should be resting against this, the spine. You will hit a point where the rib cage stops. At that point, you can push the knife all the way through the fish and pull it all the way out. We're then going to come up and detach the rest of the meat from the rib cage just using the tip of the knife here. We can peel this back here. We're gonna cut the skin off. So we now have our filet off of our fish. We have to separate the skin from the filet. To do this, we're gonna use a filet knife. This is where the flexibility of it comes in handy. So to begin, we're gonna pin the tail down with our nails. We're gonna take the filet knife and angle it towards the skin. And we're gonna make our first cut kinda of in there. And all we're doing is working the knife between the meat and the skin here peeling it away from it, sliding it all the way through until you come off with a nice delicious filet. We're gonna then put that in our ice water and keep it cool so we can move on to our, our next fish. One of the most important parts of filleting fish is keeping your filet knife sharp. You can do this by buying a commercial knife sharpener. They're pretty simple. This one has two sides, an abrasive side and a fine, fine side. What we're using this knife sharpener for is to take off any small burrs or dents that might be in this blade. So there's an abrasive side and a fine side. So we're gonna run it through the abrasive side first. This will take any of the big nicks out. Then we're gonna flip it over and use the fine side and this will put a nice fine edge on that blade. We now have our bowl of fillets. I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to cook them. Rather than going through the egg wash and all the other steps, I'm gonna show you a quick way to do a nice light breading. All right, we have our fish here that we uh, just filleted. I have put them on paper towels and patted them dry. We're now gonna put them into our breading mix here. We're gonna put the lid, make sure it's on nice and tight, and we're just gonna flip it a couple times to get that breading evenly around all those fish. Now that we've done that, we're now gonna take them and transfer them to the frying pan. We're gonna slowly enter them, drip them into the oil there. Our oil, oil is right around 350 degrees right now. You want to kind of stay between 350 and 375. That way you don't burn up the oil. And uh, it's hot enough that it crisps the fish up without them absorbing too much of the oil. We're going to let those cook a few minutes per side. That will vary depending on the thickness of your fillets.
All right, these have been cooking for a few minutes here, so we're gonna scoop them out. We're gonna put them on a plate with a paper towel to help soak up the extra oil, and we have a nice, crispy, delicious bluegill ready to be ate.